Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Uh, my friends, today I just want to talk about how to properly add profiles, presets, and performances to Rig Manager and to the Kemper via Rig Manager. So check it out. Here's my screen. Check that out. What do I got here? HW, you got all these screens up. Well, under uh, my profile, you can see everything I've got in my profile. Uh, in my profiler currently that's plugged in. And you can see my profiler under each of these sections. And the first thing you got to know is when you're talking about profiles, presets, or performances, you've got three different types of files that you've got to drag to three different places. So a lot of times I'm getting emails that say, HW, I can't, my profiles are working, but I can't get performances into my Kemper. They're not there. Well, we're probably not looking in the right place, and you probably didn't add them in the right place. So let's clear this up. If you go in the, this is my Tone Junkie free pack from May 13th. This day keeps updating as I update stuff. And I only bring up the Tone Junkie free pack because it's a place that um, we're, we give away free profiles, presets, and performances. So it's perfect to drag and drop into Rig Manager for this demo. And you can, of course, get that at the link below, blah, blah, blah. Self-plug, sorry. Okay. Uh, these are free, by the way. KIPR is Kemper Profile. KIPF will be Kemper Performance. Okay, but not to confuse you, here you go. KIPR, I'm going to take these and I'm going to drag these up here. And there you go, it's saying zero rigs have been imported because I already have these on my Kemper. Okay, here's what you got to know about this. Rigs and profiles are used in an interchangeably in the Kemperverse. When someone says rig, they mean kind of a lot of times what people mean when they say profile. Now, properly to define these terms, the profile is the copy or the, the simulated version of the amp, the profiled version of the amplifier that you create when you use uh, profiler mode. It's like what I do to create profiles of all these amplifiers, right? I'm on a mission to profile the world. Every amp, we're going to profile. So. Uh, when I create a profile, that's what the profiler spits out at me after I've captured an amp tone. But really, a profile is part of an overall rig, which encompasses um, the profile, which is the amplifier, EQ, and cab. And then it also encompasses some input settings, the, the setting on the noise gate, four effects that could be in front of it, which we call stomps, four effects that could be behind the amplifier section, which we call uh, effects, or sometimes we just call them effects blocks or stomps. But it encompasses the entire rig, delays, reverbs, all the effects, and the amp sound. So a lot of times people say profiles, they mean rigs. A lot of times when they say rigs, they mean profiles. It, it's sort of interchangeable. But all of those files, anything you download in profile packs and stuff, usually, if they're profiles like this, they need to be dragged under here, under this all rig setting. And here, I'm going to put them onto my profile or local library. Local library is on your computer, saved inside Rig Manager. And my profiler is, well, that's in my profile, or in this case, your profiler. Okay, now effects presets are something a little bit different. They're a little bit unique. Uh, they're kind of newer, and not a ton of people are using them yet because they really just became something we could use once Rig Manager uh, was transformed into the editor that it is now. And so if you come under the Tone Junkie Free Pack and you go effects presets, we're going to be adding a bunch of more effects presets in here, but right now we've just got some stomps and some EQs that you can download for free. Now, what does it say? Dot KP, sorry, dot K preset, KP reset, no, K preset. Um, and here, all you have to do, if you try to drag these under, um, under, look, under my profiler, under all rigs, you see how the box doesn't light up? It doesn't light up. But if you come under here and put it under my profiler, well, I can drag these all under my profiler. Now they're in there. And so my profiler begins syncing and it's copying off screen here. Now it's done and I can find these under my profiler. Look, they're all here. And I've also got them in my local library where they started from, which was TJ's Tone Tools. And again, these are a free download. This is where you're going to want to put tone presets. Here's why these presets are so great, because they allow you to just straight drag and drop Oh, I want this EQ to go here. I want this fat EQ to go here. Uh, I want this morph, mouse rat morpher to go right here. And I can really easily just interchange stuff. I can move stuff around. I can do all sorts of things. Um, and so that's really cool. I really dig that. Um, it's, it's, it's really useful and we all should be using presets more to just store them here. You know, your favorite delays, your favorite verbs. It's all really nice.
And now performances. Here we go. I'm in the Tone Junkie free pack again, and uh, I've got a bunch of performances here. Let's just take this Tone Junkie worship performance. Maybe you're looking for how to build a performance for Sunday morning. I've also got some brownie performances, which was uh, uh, two versions uh, of a brownie pedal. We did some pedals of the uh, the protein drive, the brown protein drive. HW knows Tone. That's what I use all the time. Josh, Meyer, Josh Myers got some stuff in here. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's take this uh, TJ worship performances and we're going to drag this in. But look, we can't drag it in because it's not an effect and we're under effects. So let's go down here and let's add it to my profiler. It's already in there. Uh, or let's add it to local library. Now, a little trick here, actually. If you want to add it to my profiler, you will notice, can you drag and drop it? Well, you kind of have to be looking actually at this screen to drag and drop. So I'm going to drag and drop it right there and boom, it appears. And by the way, pro tip, if you ever want to clear this and make it zeroed out again, you come under here because you can't delete it. There's no delete. It's called initialize performance. And that brings it back to a zero point. Like it brings it back to, to being nothing. But I don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe you just don't want to scroll through everything because you can always just take stuff, drag and drop it. And I highly recommend you back up all your performances often, any changes you make back up to the local library so you've got a local copy on your computer as well as on your Kemper. Uh, now, one more thing I want to point out. We actually can under presets. Presets are not just effects presets. We actually can come in here and under amps, I've got some amp sounds. So let's say I just like the amplifier section. I can actually drag that up and I've got the amplifier section of my 65 Twinverb. That's also a, a K preset file. Uh, let's say there's a cabinet I like or better yet, uh, there's, there's, look, I've got the imprint select. That's so cool. Okay. Let's say, um, let's say I have, uh, look, free IRs and I want to bring them in. And I go, man, I love those Alnico IRs that Tone Juggie's got. Well, in the Tone Juggie free pack, you get all sorts of, um, uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, formats for IRs, but you also get these Kemper formats, which are really just 4800s. Uh, actually, Kemper will convert all pretty much all IR formats into its own uh, usable um, format because it's got now there's something called Cab Maker, which is an older piece of software they used to have that would convert IRs into cabinets. It's now all just built into Rig Manager, which is so nice. You don't have to deal with anything. Rig Manager is the central Kemper hub now. And so let's just say I go, I want this TJ66 Alnico Silver R121 SM5451. Ugh, that's a mouthful. I can straight up come drag under here. Now, I've got it in the wrong folder because I made this folder called Amps and it's clearly a cab. Uh, but, you know, I've just got Amps and Cabs in here. Uh, and then I can, you know, look, I can even take this Fatness EQ and store it here. So I can have a, a mishmash of amps, cabs, effects, blah, blah, blah. That's actually what's in preset, uh, all the preset packs here. And here's all the all the uh, factory stuff that came on your Kemper. But to make your own, you know, I just come under here and uh, I like to keep my, my, my effects in one, my amps in another, my cabs in another. Uh, I, I've, I've recently gotten rid of everything in here as I'm rebuilding it. Uh, but but that's because I'm building this TJ Tone Tools, and uh, and I'd love you all to come along the journey with me and check out all these cool effects that I'm making. So here we go, TJ Tone Tools. Uh, that's how you load in um, profiles, rigs, KP, K presets, um, and performances. Thanks so much, dudes. I've been HW. Thank you so much again for watching Tone Jugga TV. Hit like, subscribe, and uh, turn on a little bell notification uh, if you're really into... Uh, Kemper and Tone Junkie videos and hopefully this is a really this is just meant to be a utility video I mean we didn't even play the guitar right just how to do something people get confused about now I can just send people this link drop it into the Facebook boards when people ask this question you can drop this link in and just go hey here HW will show you on his computer thank you so much I've been HW HW out